Wondering Wednesday. My name is Miss Sam. I'm and today we are going to learn about color, pigment, and dyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So our objective is to use knowledge of different colors to explore pigment and dyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty cool, huh? So when you think, oh, before we got to remember our three rules. Be observant. First, it's to be curious. curious. Like, hmm, I wonder. No, 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 like. <gasps> <gasps> Number two is to be observant. Very good. Get on your observation goggles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And think about what do I see? What do I smell? What do I hear? <gasps> what do I touch? And sometimes what do I taste? Number three, uh, ask questions. Ooh, like who? What? Where? Why? How? Hmm. Why is this red? Why is this blue? Why is this one black? Why is why this one white? It, why is this yellow? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Why is your jacket white? I don't know. Why is this pink? All right. So, when talking about pigments and dyes, when you think about pigments, Whoa. think of paint. Okay? Mm -hmm. Think of paint. So, Autumn, tell us, what are these colors? Yellow, blue. Oh, rouge, red. Bleu, jaune. Ah, en français, rouge, bleu, et jaune. Okay, but those are those different colors. See, so when you think of pigments, think of paints like this. Okay. Where, mommy? Mommy. Yes. I have a great idea. How about we should like like mix the other ones <gasps> like together? You're getting ahead. Okay, and when you think about dyes, think about food coloring. Okay. So here I have some different dyes here, okay? Notice these dyes are like a little liquid, okay? They're a little liquid. So first, I want Autumn, if you could please, my dear, put a drop, one drop of blue on the plate, please. Oh, no, 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 just one of the plates, not two plates, just one plate. That's okay. Here, I'll put this one over here. I have another one, okay? I'm going to get this out of the way. All right, so she put one drop on one plate. Now, I'm going to put some blue paint on blue this paint. one, okay? And actually, it looks like you might need more than one drop. Go ahead, put maybe two more on top. Don't touch it. There you go, okay? Put a little, little more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. All right. So check it out. I want you to look at the differences. So here wait, wait, mommy, is the paint. I, wait, can I tell you about the difference? Sure. Okay. What do you th see as the difference, Autumn? And I here, guys, here is the the dye. Okay. I see uh, the difference that they don't have the same color because because the blue is like black and the other one is still like blue. Ah, okay. So the dye she notices a lot deeper in concentration. Notice if I tip it sideways. Notice what happens to the dye. It makes it blue. Well, the dye it actually because it's more Wait, liquidy. Mommy, mommy. Hold on. Thank you. Um, the the dye here is more liquidy, so it spreads out really easily. Where if I tip this one, it doesn't pour as easily. Okay, you see that, Anna? Mm -hmm. Look, 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 look. Okay, so the paint is the pigment. Remember the P's, paint, pigment. And the dye, okay, is the food coloring here, like this, okay? So we're gonna do some experiments with these. Will you sit up, please? Thank you. Okay, and we'll talk about all the stuff on the table in a little bit. All right, so first, we did this one already. We put the pigment on the plate and we put the dye on the plate, okay? So now, Autumn, what we're gonna add is we are gonna add some water, Ooh, okay? Nice. So Autumn is gonna take this, it's called a pipette. Yeah, like you, okay. it's, like, it's like, like a like, dropper. Like, like a dropper, like mm -hmm. it comes, when you squish the top, it, it comes down. Mm-hmm, and she is gonna use this water and this pipette, 
and I would like you please, Autumn, to, very good, and I want you to put three drops of water on each, and I want us to see what happens, okay? So, two more on each. Don't touch it, good. Okay, so I want you to notice, and I'm gonna come a little closer, can I have the pipette? And I would like to add a little bit more so everyone could see. So notice, if you put water on top of the pigment, which is the paint, when I put it on here, it spreads some of the pigment in the water, but, and notice the water is a, a blue color, a little bit lighter than the paint itself, but the paint doesn't move that much. It's really thick, it's thick consistency, okay? Can I see the dye one, please? Okay, this one is the food coloring. I'm joking, I'm joking. Let go, please. Thank you. Okay. And so if you add the water to it, notice, let's see if I can get you to see it better. It really spreads out. It mixes really well all throughout. And it becomes like a full solution. Okay. Interesting. Oops. All right. Now... I yeah, I know, because you're not following directions, okay? But so it's important. But we can clean it up. We can clean it up, but I want you to listen, okay? Okay. All right. So here's the next thing, is I want to try it on some fabric. We have some... What are these, Otto? Um, for painting? Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's a canvas for painting. You can use a old sock, a old t-shirt if you're interested in doing this experiment at home. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, okay? We could have used that too. I just happen to have a couple of extras of these laying around, seriously, at, at our house. So I thought, oh, well, why don't we be fancy and use that, okay? <laughs> but what we're going to do is I actually would like it if you could add just one drop, okay? Just one drop on of the dye and one drop of the and on this one? yeah but put it in the on the side right there okay one drop very good now turn pick this up okay and we're gonna put one drop of the paint okay and I want you guys to stop to see the difference okay notice Okay, notice they're actually both sitting on top. See? See how this one, there's a little bubble and this one's a little bit bigger bubble? Okay? Okay, all right. So now if I spread this out, and then if I spread this one out, they're both blue, but they kind of attach to the canvas a little bit differently. Okay, this one kind of soaks in. And this is the dye, it kind of soaked in. And the paint, which is the pigment, it kind of sits on top. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's a difference there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so now, sit up please. Watch out, I need this space. Thank you. So now we're gonna do some, another experiment, okay? Before we get into this assignment bar, stop. Okay? So I'm gonna show you some ways that you guys can explore with paint and with dye, okay? It will get messy, so if you wanna wear gloves, we can wear gloves. Like, wash our hands. We're not gonna wash our hands right now because we're gonna show them the next step. Can you sit back, please? Okay, cool. So get your paintbrush. All right, first I wanna explain this experiment to everybody. Can, can you hold on for a second? Look here. What is in these glasses, Autumn? Um, what is in this glass? What did you put red. in? Red what? Color. We put red food coloring in water. That's all it is. Okay. Blue. This one has blue food coloring in water. Very good. And this one, what is this in the middle here? Water. It's just plain water. And what are these? What are these? Papers or toilet papers? Not toilet paper. Paper towel. Okay, paper towel. And actually, we just set this up like 
you know, two minutes before we started recording. And so one of the things that you can do is you can actually leave this overnight and see what happens. I didn't want to show you the answer, but I want you to see all you do is water in each. This one in the middle has a little bit less water and I added paper towel. Now tell me, Autumn, touch the paper towel. What does it feel like? Wet. It's wet. Okay. Water has this really cool property where it allows it to stick to other things. Okay. Cohesion. Wait, wait, wait. Allows it to stick to itself, but adhesion allows it to stick to other things like like the paper towel. And so the water actually traveled up. You can see a little bit here is that the blue pigment has traveled up the paper towel. Look over here, Autumn. Look, is the red coming up the paper towel? What color is the paper towel right here? What? It's kind of like pink a little bit, right? My finger is me. Okay, and so we're gonna see, I'm gonna leave this out overnight and we're gonna see what happens to this middle cup. What do you think is gonna happen? What do you predict? You think it's gonna change color? Well, what color do you think it's gonna be? Watch where you're leaning. I don't know. You don't know? You think it's gonna turn red? No, because we have red already. You think it's gonna turn blue? No, we have blue already. You think it's gonna turn yellow? You think it's gonna turn black? Wait, wait, white? Wait, wait, mommy, Green? I have wait, I have a great idea. What should we do? We we should do these like mixes so uh, we can see so we can see how it mix. What? Okay, let's do that. Let's try. Okay? Mm -hmm. Get get some. And I actually want us to try it. We're gonna try it right in here first. We're not gonna put it on the canvas just yet. Okay? We're gonna each do it. I'm gonna get my paintbrush, you're gonna get yours. Here's this. Don't do it on the canvas, okay? Hold it. We are gonna take our blue paint and our red paint, this was Autumn's idea, and mix it together and put it in this one, okay? okay. So put some blue and some red in that one and see what happens. Ooh. I think I'm gonna need some more red. Think I need some more red? Yeah, I think I need some more red too. Wait, is that black? Look. Are you sure? Look. It's like dark blue. I'm going to come closer so you can see. So I mixed the blue and the red. So it kind of looks like to me, it kind of looks like a dark purple. What do you think, Autumn? What do you think? Maybe? Maybe a dark purple? Hmm. Now that I've made the color, I'm going to take wait. my canvas. Wait, 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 wait. Look. Because I see it when I'm it next to it. Mommy, I think it's dark blue because I see it when it spreads and it's blue. Mommy, spread it. Wait, it's brown. I was right. You said you got brown? So, I see when you mix blue and red, you get kind of a purplish color. Look. Okay. So, try it out. Here's another one that actually, like, sophisticated scientists do. Is to look at different pigments, like in markers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I took a Sharpie. Is it Sharpie? And I put a little tiny line on my Sharpie. And then I actually wrapped the Sharpie around the paper, excuse me, I wrapped the paper towel around the top of the, mar of the Sharpie marker. I want to pay attention to what you're doing, okay? And I dipped just the tip in the water. Notice the line is not in the water. It's above the water. And the water is climbing up the paper towel because water adheres to things and it's going to spread out 
the pigment so we can see it. Okay, another thing. Oops! Ah, my God. <laughs> it fell in! That was a mistake. Not meant to happen. And let's see, I'm gonna take another and I'm gonna mix the yellow and the and the blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. I'm gonna mix it and put it in this one right here. So I'm gonna mix the yellow. I'm gonna first put the yellow in there. I really love these egg carton things. It's one of my favorite things I'm to mix paint in. And I'm gonna mix yellow here as well. Mommy, where you put yours? Okay, I'm gonna put yellow in both of these. And then I'm going to put red in this one, and I'm going to put blue in this one. But, but Mommy? Yes. Um, but um, where did you put your other brush? I just put it right there. Uh huh. So here, I'm going to mix the blue and the yellow. Oops. Pay attention to what you're doing. I'm going to uh, uh, uh. yellow. When you mix yellow and blue, what do you get, Autumn? Tell me, what did you get? I got the green. Do, do, do. I'm gonna I got green. green too. I'm gonna go green. I'm a painting. Ooh, 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 Wait, ooh, ooh. I think I'm gonna mix with blue. And I'm gonna get some yellow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And yellow to mix. <gasps> Light green. <laughs> You can get different shades of green by adding different amounts of pigment to it. All right, so now I'm going to take my red and I'm going to add a little bit of red to my yellow here. I'm going to do red. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Look what I get. I get, what do you get, my Autumn, when you mix red and yellow? Green. When you mix red and yellow, look. What color? Orange. You get orange! And then I'm gonna color my painting. Can get that off? Do, 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 do. Maybe do brown, brown. Yeah. Boom! Look at that. Yellow. Look at all those different colors. Super cool. So from red, yellow, and blue, we were able to make orange. By mixing the red and yellow, making orange. We were able to make green by mixing the yellow and the blue to make a green. And we were able to make a purple by mixing the red and the blue to make purple. Pretty cool, huh? So, Autumn, could you step aside for a moment so everybody can see? Step aside, step aside, step aside. Ooh, can you show everybody what you made though first? Can you show everybody? Can I show them? Yeah. Look. Autumn made so many different shades of blue and green. That's awesome. Okay, Autumn, I want you to step aside so everybody can read the board, please. Watch out. Step down. Watch your face. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. So you have a choice. You have four choices. Choose one, or if you want, you can do them all, or you could do two, or you could do three, but just at least choose one. Okay, you can either... One, you can either get white flowers and add food coloring and observe what happens. Somebody also told me that you could, wait, 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 wait for it. Autumn, I need you to move, please. I need you to get down off of your stool, please. Okay. Get down off of your uh, yeah, stool. Yeah, because I just want to put my tank. All right, cool. So the other thing that you could do is if you don't have access to white flowers, you can do it with celery. <laughs> So if you have blue food coloring in water and add celery to it, see what happens to the leaves after a night. So leave it overnight and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna add this one to my red, okay? And see if I can get the leaves to change color. Because the dye in the water is gonna go up the stem of the celery stalk and change the leaves. Okay, that's choice number one. Number two is you can do the Sharpie trick where you put the Sharpie on the paper towel and add water and see what happens when the pigment spreads out on the paper towel. 
You can also do it with other markers too. Number three, you can mix colors with paints like this um, and make a painting like this. Make it whatever you want. <laughs> or you can mix colors with markers because markers are a form of a dye and you can mix that together and make a drawing. Any of these, take a picture or a video and send it to Autumn and I so we can see your awesome work. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Make great choices. And we'll see you next time. Bye.